The Enigma of Baroness Elsa von Freitag Loringhoven In the heart of New York City during the early 20th century, amidst the roaring twenties, the smoky jazz bars, and the burgeoning art scene, there was a woman who stood out, not just for her eccentricities, but also for her boundless creativity. She was Elsa von Freitag Loringhoven, known simply as the Baroness. Elsa was born in Germany in 1874. Throughout her early life, she faced hardships including abuse, poverty, and the turbulence of two world wars. These experiences carved a rugged, resilient spirit within her, and she began to channel her emotions into art. After moving to the U.S., Elsa found herself amidst the Dadaist movement, a rebellious avant-garde art movement of the early 20th century. The Dadaists rejected logic, reason, and aesthetics, choosing instead to embrace chaos and absurdity. Elsa, with her penchant for the bizarre, fit right in. The Baroness became a performance art icon, blurring the lines between her life and her artwork. Elsa would walk her pet lobster on a leash, wear brassieres made of tomato cans and tape spoons to her bare breasts, challenge norms, and scandalize the Puritan sensibilities of her time. But her eccentricities were more than just for show. They were a manifestation of her belief that life itself was an ever-evolving piece of art. In her poems, Elsa combined sounds, visuals, and written words to create an experience rather than just a narrative. Her work was rebellious, challenging the conventional structures of poetry and art. Perhaps her most controversial work was The Fountain, a urinal she found and presented as art. While Marcel Duchamp is often credited with this piece, there is substantial evidence to suggest that Elsa might have been the true creator, with Duchamp only acting as a middleman. Regardless of its true authorship, The Fountain remains one of the most iconic pieces of Dadaist art, challenging the very definition of what art can be. Elsa's relationships were as tumultuous as her art. She was known to have had numerous affairs with both men and women, artists and thinkers, but it was her relationship with herself that was most complex. Elsa often oscillated between moments of profound self-love and deep self-loathing, which further fueled her creativity. Financial struggles and mental health issues plagued her throughout her life. Despite her immense contribution to the Dadaist movement and her pioneering role in performance art, Elsa remained relatively unknown and underappreciated during her time. In 1927, amidst personal struggles, Elsa tragically took her own life in Paris. But her legacy is far from forgotten. The Baroness Elsa von Freitag Loringhoven remains an enigmatic figure in art history. Her audacity to challenge societal norms, her unique perception of art, and her unapologetic embrace of her true self make her a beacon for artists and rebels alike. In an era where conformity was the norm, Elsa dared to be different, not for fame or recognition, but for the sheer love of expression. Through her life and her work, Elsa teaches us that art is not just something we create, it's something we live, breathe, and embody. So the next time you come across something unconventional, be it art, music, or a person, remember the Baroness and her indomitable spirit. For it is in the unusual, the bizarre, and the outlandish that true creativity often lies.